Hey everyone, it is late at night and I am Norman. I feel like I've either gotten lucky with the past few vintage pieces that I've bought or my hunting skills have gone to the next level. Tonight I'm wearing a vintage Wittenauer. This is a gold watch. So I bought this to fill a slot in my collection for a gold watch and it just looks amazing. I like how it has sort of a constellation vibe to it. But the crazy thing is I really didn't pay that much for it. And the past three vintage pieces that I've bought were kind of like that. I'm paying as much as I always have for inexpensive vintage watches. But instead of getting uh, Russian Franken watches, I'm getting Enicars or Olympos's. Uh, Zodiacs or Wittenhours. So if you're new to watch collecting, you know, as you begin to discover sources for the pieces that you like and you develop your taste, you start to learn to identify pieces that you are going to love because you're familiar, you become familiar with your own tastes. And as your tastes change, you still know exactly what you like. You know if you buy this kind of a watch, you're probably not going to wear it because you've done it in the past. You've bought pieces that you thought were going to be brilliant and they just kind of sat on the shelf. But then at some point it just kind of clicks and you just find the perfect pieces. And that has been the case for me with, man, the past few watches that I purchased and this is one of them. Just so cool looking. I'll be doing a review of it probably in a couple weeks or so, and uh, we'll dig right in on this thing. All right, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. 